Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode five of the Weird, Freaky Brain Science of Drugs. For those of you that have been following along this far, like, high five to you. That's a real commitment. If this is your first episode, I would ask that you close this video and go back to episode one. Episode one really lays the foundation that's going to be necessary for the remaining episodes. In episode one, we learned the three ways in which all drugs are similar. All drugs are similar by, one, in order to get into the brain, it has to dress up as one of the happy, feel-good, trippy brain chemicals you were born with. Once it gets into the brain and it floods the gap, we run the risk of our factory shutting down, which is the risk of withdrawal. And we run the risk of ice on our receptors or ice on the keyholes, and that's the risk of tolerance. Today's neurotransmitter is a beast. Today we're talking about dopamine. Dopamine is the feeling of pleasure and reward. Pleasure and reward. I like to think of dopamine as the handle on a slot machine, right? So you pump a quarter into the slot machine and you pull the handle on it, and now like the lights and the bells and the whistles are all going off and it's shooting money out of me, and I hit the jackpot, and I'm freaking rich, and life is amazing, and it's dopamine. It's pleasure and reward. I like to think of it as that, like, hell yeah kind of feeling, right? Dopamine is pleasure and reward. So, cocaine dresses up as dopamine, but all drugs have a relationship to dopamine. And I'm going to say this again. All drugs have a relationship to dopamine. And it works kind of like this. When the drug, the fake neurotransmitter, when it floods the gap and it plugs into the keyholes and it goes billions of times down that chain and the person is having the effect of that drug, the effect they may be looking for, it also sends a signal to another part of the brain that says, and give me a giant dose of real dopamine. Give me a giant surge of pleasure and reward. Sit with that for a minute. This person is ingesting a substance, a substance that in order to get into the brain, it has to put on a costume to even get there, showing us it's not really supposed to be there. And when it does, it floods the gap, which creates the risk of withdrawal, and it creates ice on the receptors, which is the risk of tolerance. And when this happens, the person's brain says, thank you, you've done good. Here is a sprinkling of dopamine. Here is some pleasure and reward. And my question is, is that a mean message to give the owner of that brain? Is that a mixed and convoluted message to give the owner of that brain? Thank you, folks. I'm grateful for your time.